Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be testing some myths for Minecraft 1.21. 1.21 has now been released for about a week. So let's bust some myths for this update. So the first myth we are going to test is bogs. Bogs that can be sheared for mushrooms. And you get two random mushrooms every time. It can be two red, two brown, or one of each. So there are two myths we are going to test here. The first one is, can you shear the bog with a dispenser? So let's throw a pair of shears in a dispenser. And let's power this. And it can be done with a dispenser, so you can kind of make a bog farm that shears them for mushrooms before you kill them. I don't know if this is going to be an efficient farm because bogs are kind of rare inside of mangrove swamps, but I guess you could also do it in the trial chambers as well. And then the second myth that we're going to test is, does the mushrooms grow back? And they don't. They can only be sheared once per entity. And once the entity has been sheared, there is no way to get the mushrooms back without the use of commands. And for anyone wondering what that command is, I can quickly just show you. Let's shear the bog so it is sheared. If you then run this command, which is data modify entity, the entity ID, which you can get by looking at the entity, and then sheared Z0, you can see if I run this command, the bogged will have the mushrooms back. But you can also set this to 1 to make it so the bogs are sheared by default. So now we are in the troll chamber for the next myth. And that is the fact that you can time the vault with the item you get. Because there has been rumours going around that you can have a key... And if you was to click the key when a certain item was showing, you can kind of time what items you get. Now, the answer to this is it's false. You can't do it. But I'm testing this on Java Edition, and I don't know if it's true or not on Bedrock. The way the loot tables work for Java is it's randomly gotten, like any other loot tables, like a chest. Let me quickly just show you that it's random. So if I was to open this vault, I'm going to quickly just pick block it. We got a ominous arrows and then also more arrows. And if I was to open it again, you can see that the loot is once again different. We got an axe that time, but the other two items were the same. Well, at least inside a Java edition, the vault loot is random. Now, I'm not sure about Bedrock, as I have heard some rumours that Bedrock vaults can be timed. Now, the next myth is inside of the menu panorama, and that is because inside of this, there is a ladder missing inside of the corner. And the myth we're going to ask here is, is that a block missing inside of the game or just in the panorama? If we really just wait for the panorama, you can see it's only missing on one side. So if we now quickly just load into a world, you can see it's missing inside of the actual trial chamber as well. It's not just in the panorama. So I don't know if that's intentional because you can still climb this ladder or if it's a missed block when they were building the ladders. Now the next myth we are going to test, wind charges can knock back entities. This includes the player or entities it is thrown at. Well, can it knock back a warden? Because wardens have built-in knockback resistance. It won't knock the warden back as much as it would with any other entity, but it does still have some knockback effect on the warden. So the best way I could probably test this knockback on wardens is by putting a husk and a warden. I'm going to have to do it quickly before they attack each other. And they seem to go about the same height, I guess. they did. There weren't no difference between them. So it seems like they do have the same knockback effect on wardens than they do on other mobs. Although when you throw one at its feet, it doesn't seem to go as far as other mobs. So I guess that myth is kind of busted, but kind of confirmed. The next myth we're going to test is the mace can deal unlimited damage. Now I have a warden at the very bottom of the world. This is the lowest the warden could possibly be. And then we're going to teleport ourselves to the max height inside of survival mode. Because obviously inside of creative mode, you can fly above 320. But we're going to test this for survival mode. And we can simply do it just by doing this command. So if I now fall, we can fall all the way down this hole. I just need to make sure I hit the warden. And I did, but I think I landed before I hit it. So let's try that again. I did replace some of the blocks with trap doors. And there we go. We one hit the warden from 320 falling all the way down to minus 61. Now the warden inside of the game is the mob with the most health. And you can one hit it from falling from max height to bedrock. Now that is also without any enchantments. So with things like density, you wouldn't have to fall that far. Now the next myth I want to try is glass can let redstone travel up it, but not down. And I want to test, do copper grates work the same? So you can see the redstone power is traveling all the way up here. If I was to put a copper bulb, you can see the copper bulb will be powered when I click this button. There we go. And it'll be unpowered again if I click it. Now, redstone cannot travel down. So if I was to do something like this, and then I was to power this, so let's just do that. 
you can see the redstone doesn't go downwards. So does copper grates work like this? Let's quickly just do something like the same setup. Let's place redstone on all the blocks. And let's quickly just see. So if I place a lamp now and press that, does the lamp power on? It does. Now, will the redstone travel down? Let's quickly just see. And it does not. Okay, so it works basically like glass when you use redstone with it. That's cool to know because it's another block that you can use inside of honey farms and things like that. Now, the next myth we're going to test is the level of bad omen you get from an ominous bottle doesn't scale the difficulty of the trial omen. So if I was drinking level 1, it would be the same as drinking a level 5. And now that is kind of true. The difficulty of the spawner will not change depending on what level you drink. The only thing that does change is the amount of time you have trial omen for. So for example, if I was to drink this bottle, we have bad omen for 1 hour and 40 minutes. If this was to get turned into trial omen, you can see we have it for 15 minutes. And the mobs are spawning with chainmail armor, some enchantments, diamond swords, iron swords, and things like that. Let's quickly just clear this effect. The night vision did also go. And let's do it with this spawner. So if I was drink Bad Omen 5, you can see once again that we have it for an hour and 40 minutes. But if this was to turn into Trial Omen, we have it for an hour and 15 minutes. And the mobs are still spawning with the same armor and tools. So the different levels that doesn't scale the difficulty. It just scales how long you have the effect for. From 15 minutes up to an hour and 15 minutes. Now the next myth we are going to cover is does the string duplicator still work in Minecraft 1.21? Now I'm not too sure how this works but this is how you build it. There are plenty of tutorials who showcase this a lot better. But we are just covering does it still work or not. Now, what you need to do to start this farm is break that and then quickly do that as quickly as possible. This duplication glitch does still work as of 1.21. Let's quickly just cover some quick myths. And that is the fact that you can put both the breeze and the bogged in boats and minecarts. So if I was just to set up a minecart and then I was to push a breeze into that, it's going to be kind of hard to do. Uh, there we go. So you can fit breezes inside a minecart. Can you fit bogged? And you can. Now let's try boat, so let's quickly just see, does the breeze go in the boat? It does, and the bog does also. So these mobs can go in both of these. Now can you leash them? And you cannot lead either of them. And the final thing that I just want to test for fun, and that is, do they work with dinner bone? As when you name tag a mob dinner bone, if I was to quickly just try with this husk, it flips them upside down. So let's quickly just try, does it work with the breeze and the bogged? The bogged, as you can see, does get flipped upside down. And the breeze, if I try it, the breeze does also get flipped upside down. That's actually kind of cool. You can use that as decoration. This is going a little bit off the myth, but I quickly just want to try something. If I was to push the breeze in the minecart down into this hole, let's quickly just try and do that. This is going to be a little bit difficult, I think. No, it wasn't difficult. And then now if I was, can I place a slab there or a carpet? I cannot, but I probably could push a piston over. That's really cool. That can be used for decoration in builds. All I've done is I have a carpet underneath there so I can place another carpet on top. Then I have a breeze in a minecart with it named Dinner Bone. And I just have all the blocks covered. So all you can see is the spinning parts and the wind. I'm getting really distracted here. It looks like the slab has some kind of effect to it. And the mob isn't dying because it's a slab. There's definitely so much this can be used for. And it's really cool to see that it does work. But anyway, that is all the myths I'm going to test. As I got very distracted with this final breeze thing. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, do leave a like and subscribe. If you would like me to cover more myths for Minecraft 1.21, then do let me know in the comments. And maybe I'll make a part two. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.